Hey, you guys, welcome to another episode of The Rachel Cruz Show, and I'm really excited about this episode today because I have Christina Mascari on, and she's a full-time YouTuber and creator of Pretty Distressed, where she takes thrifted pieces and makes them beautiful and new-looking. And I can't wait to have you and talk about this because I'm not a DIYer at That's all. That's okay. That's okay. I don't think you have to have any skill to do this, honestly. That's why I, I wanted to I, know. <laughs> I dropped out of art class after two days, so. Okay. Okay, so do you consider yourself a creative person, though, like naturally? Not really. I've always been a crafter. I grew up crafting with my mom and my grandma, so yeah. I've always had a vision for things, and I just don't like spending a lot of money on furniture. So if I can thrift it, if I can dupe something, that's kind of where all this came that from. you'll do it. Okay, yeah. so I can't wait to dive into this. <laughs> Because people already that you guys watching or listening and you're thinking, gosh, that's not me. Like I, I'm not a, I'm not an artistic person. I'm like Rachel. I'm relating to Rachel right now because the fact of DIYing, it just it intimidates me. It really does. So what's like, what's one or two tips for people that feel like, gosh, this is not my gifting that they could really do to get started? Yeah. Well, I say if you can paint a wall, you can paint a piece of furniture. It's just a paintbrush and some paint and just changing the look of it. So I really do think that anybody can do it. And the best way to start is just go to a thrift store, look around your house. If you're sick of something and you're thinking, oh, I wanna get rid of that, just get that can of paint out, get that brush out. The worst thing that can happen is that you have to redo it or you just give it away to somebody else. Yes. There's, there's no pressure. There's no pressure when it comes to it. That's a good it. point. Yeah. Cause, yeah, cause you can do this as a side hustle, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But if you're doing it just to save money, yeah, there's no pressure on it. It's okay if it screws up. So when you go into a thrift store, though, what are you looking for? Like, are there things that you're like, oh, yeah, for sure, this type of furniture, this look is good, anything? like? I'm just looking for something, honestly, that's in good shape, that doesn't have a strong odor to it, that doesn't look like it needs a lot of repair, something that's sturdy. A good thing to look for is dovetail drawing. I'm, a, I'm trying oh, not to go over your head no, I here. I love it. Give but it looks details. like these little teeth that come together. Okay. And if you see that in a drawer, you know that's a solid piece, and that is a always a good find. So I snatch those up right away. Okay, so yeah. that means it's like a well-built piece. A well-built piece. Piece, okay. So paint, you can do. Hardware. Right? Is hardware another? is, you know, a really quick fix is hardware. Say you find a piece that looks really great, it's in good shape, you're like, man, this doesn't even need paint. A really quick update is just to change out that hardware. And, you know, you can find cheap, affordable hardware at Amazon, on the hardware yes. store, and it could just give it a really quick update. See, this is the stuff that gives me hope. Because I'm like, <laughs> like, you see things, you're like, man, this could be complicated, whether it's like a type of cooking or gardening or DIY, I don't know, anything. But you're like, no, when you go and it's practical, you think, okay, paint and hardware, I can do this. I can order off Amazon yeah. and get some hardware and, really, and unscrew some stuff and put right. some stuff back, and it's a whole new piece. Yeah, and all you have to do to paint a piece of furniture, there are some great paints on the market now that make it really easy. All you have to do is clean your piece, and there are specific paints that you can buy that you don't have to prime, you don't have to sand back the finish. So it's just as easy as cleaning off your piece, getting this furniture paint. When you say clean, paint. do you mean just like taking a— like a cloth, like you like. There are several things that you can do to clean. The best way, the most inexpensive way to clean a piece of furniture is to get some dish soap, you know, because it's grease cutting. So yes. you're going to take that dish soap, some warm water. You're just going to suds that up, wipe it all down, okay. and then rinse that with water, and you should be good to go. And then you're good. You're and good then to you go. Can, you and grab your favorite color of furniture paint, and it's just a matter of getting that paint on. You can roll it on. You could brush it on, and you just want to watch for big, you know, drip marks. That's the only thing, really, yes. that you have to do when you're painting furniture. It's just like painting a piece of paper. It's just okay. like painting a wall. You're just putting it on smoothly, and the paint levels out, and it kind of does the rest of the work for it's you. Fine. It's not that hard. Okay, what's like the like? What's one piece of furniture that you're like, this is the easiest thing to start with, and then what's the one that's like, ooh, this is hard? Right. That is, I mean, that's a good point. I always tell people, start small. Do not take your grandmother's china hutch <laughs> or her dining table or six chairs and try to tackle that. You will give up five minutes in. The best thing to do, grab an end table, grab a nightstand, grab an old coffee table, something that you can tackle quickly, like in a day, that's not gonna be overwhelming. You can get those techniques down, and then once you do, you can move on to that china hutch or that dining table. Okay, so how long does it take, realistically, to well, do realistically, a coffee table? Well, realistically, to do a coffee table, let's say you have to do two coats, um, it'll probably take you about 30 minutes to brush on that paint, okay. give it about an hour or two to dry, come back in with your second coat, 
And most of the time, you don't have to top coat these paints, but if you want some added protection, like if it is a coffee table, you would want to seal it with a top coat on the top. So then you're talking about another couple of hours to get that done. Yeah. So you could you could literally flip a piece of furniture in a day. I've done it several times. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so now let's talk price point. Okay. Like what's like the cheap, we'll use coffee table as our example. <laughs> Like, what's probably the cheapest coffee table that you've seen, like, at a thrift store? At a thrift store, you can like, get those for, like, $5. $5. But here's the thing. You don't have to pay for furniture. There are people that want to get rid of things. So oh, if you were wanting yeah. to do this, find your trash days that, you know, people are putting their stuff out on the curb. If you have that in your area, know those trash days. You can drive around and find things on the side of the road. The very first piece of furniture I ever flipped and sold for money I pulled off of my neighbor's driveway because they were moving. So I got it for free. I painted it in two days, and then I sold it for $200. Okay, So these are the things that you need to be doing. I mean, people want to get rid of furniture. So let your friends, family know, hey, I will come haul this thing away for you. I'm updating furniture. If you have anything you want to get rid of, let me know. So for free or $5 yeah. to, I mean, literally, you could resell for— You could resell a coffee table, depending on your market, once you refinish it, from anywhere from $50 to $150, oh, depending amazing. on the work that you put into it. Yeah. Okay, and you started this personally as, as a hobby, right? And then it yeah. turned into a side hustle, and then now it's like a full-time business. Yeah, this, so, w- this, was, a, this was a hobby for me. It was I was a stay-at-home mom. I had been in corporate communications for seven years— Stayed home with my children, which I love, but I just had mommy mush brain. And I just wanted something for me. I wanted something creative. And we had just moved into a house, and we had spent money redoing the floors and fixing a few things around the house. And my husband was like, we are done. We're not spending any more money on this house. But it wasn't furnished. So that's when I got creative, and I started. I found a dresser at Goodwill that I redid for— our foyer, we had a dining hutch and set that was passed along from his family that nobody wanted because it was extremely outdated. And I painted that and put it in our home. And then friends and family just started asking me, hey, this is great. I love what you're doing. Will you do a commission commission piece for me? Uh, I'm like, uh, sure, you're going to pay me? Piece? You're going to pay me to paint? And I just, I loved it. And it just, you know, it was something that I could do during nap time. It was something I could do at the kids, when the kids went to bed at night, when my tra- my husband was traveling. Yeah. And it just became this whole thing. And it, yeah, it just was a lot of fun. And I think, I think anybody can do it. For sure. I do. I really Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Okay. So here's like a kind of a tactical question. Then I want to get back to the okay. side hustle idea. So where do you do it? In your garage? Like, like uh, Currently, I do it in my garage because I have space. But if you don't have space in a garage, I used to do it in my foyer. I used okay. to do it in my dining room. Yeah. And, you know, my house didn't look perfect when people came in, but I was making money. And totally. I was having fun doing it. Yeah. So just wherever you can find a space to do it, you don't have to have a whole big studio. You yes. can just do it in different rooms in your house. Because this paint that I use is low VOC, so it's safe to use okay. around your family. Okay. Yeah. And that's a great point. I saw this, like, Instagram. <laughs> Real the other day, and it was like this husband. He was like, "The things my wife thinks people are going to do when they come over," and he's like yes, making I've fun, and he's like looking in the kids' rooms and in the cover, everything. And it's like, no, people don't do that. So even to your point of like, even if it is stuff that you, you know, if you're getting traction on it, and you're like, yeah, yeah you got to do use your foyer. Mm-hmm. People come over. People really don't care. Like, yeah, it's make not space this for thing. it. Yes, for sure. You can put it up and put it to the side, or put a drop cloth over it. Yeah, if people but are if coming it's, in. yeah, but if it's but your yeah. side hustle, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. So. A lot of people are looking for ways to make money, to get out of debt specifically, anything to bring in income, right? And so this is a great option because it's low cost for the yeah. most, and if not free, you gotta mm-hmm. pay for paint and stuff, mm-hmm. but to be able to flip things. And so have you found people doing this like and making good money doing it? Yeah, I mean, I know you there, are. You've been doing yeah, it for a while. And but. I have to tell you guys, there is a whole community of furniture refinishers, and you can just do a quick search on Instagram or on YouTube, and you can find a lot of them. I have two friends that I have connected with through YouTube that have paid off major debt. I had a friend. She actually was in the studio here live. Her and her husband came up and shared her story. Her name is Kara from Lemons to Lemonade, and yes. they paid off $46,000 worth of medical debt flipping furniture. It's amazing. Um, I also have a friend who is a kindergarten teacher, and she started flipping furniture about a year ago, and she paid off $25,000 in student loans in under six months. Flipping furniture. Flipping furniture yeah. on the side and teaching kindergarten. Where have I day. been, Christina? Where have I been? <laughs> like this, what and am I the, doing here? What the, am I doing here? The market is something. only growing because you know a supply chain. I was it's about to say, so yeah. hard to get furniture right now. And so if you can a find lot. a quality piece, sometimes it's just cleaning it up and maybe buffing it up a little bit. Yeah. And like we said, changing the hardware, just taking it home, staging it, put 
like a plant on it, a picture, and yes. put that up on Marketplace, people are going to be like, wow, it looks like something out of a store, and yeah. you can just make money. Just Sometimes just cleaning a piece up, not yes. even necessarily painting and it. And I think some of the most like simple, elegant homes that I even know that friends have, that it's not like by this big designer— but they have these pieces, right? Some of them mm-hmm. may be in redone. But it's the idea of like, you're just like putting things together that work and it makes your home feel cozy and warm. Like there's something about it versus almost this like starch, yeah. stark, all matching piece. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like there's something about the character that, mm-hmm. that furniture can bring, you know, if you buy it or redo it, that I think is awesome. Yeah, and they're, these are one of a kind pieces. Yes. You have, to, you have to take pride in your work when you are taking something and creating something. No one else can buy that piece of furniture that looks exactly like that. Yes. They may have that, but you change the color up, you change that hardware. So it is a unique piece for someone's home it's that awesome. they can be proud of. Yeah. So great. Oh, well, thank you for all the tips. I mean, it's, it's huge, you guys. And again, such a great way for you to put money towards paying off debt. Okay. So one thing I always ask my guests is, what is one thing you're doing with money? It can be anything. Okay. That is creating a life that you love. Um, well, I just love how generous we get to be. We get mm. to be radically generous with what God has blessed us with. And when He asks us to give big, I love that we can. Yes. And, you know, within my company now, I've been able to hire out some things that I can no longer do that I need to take off my plate. So I'm just so encouraged that a company I started is now helping other people achieve their dreams. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, I it's love really it. Cool. And, you, and you do it debt-free. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. And so part of that is having that margin to be able to do right. it, which is phenomenal. Yeah. Absolutely phenomenal. So great. Okay, where can everyone find you? Um, you can find me at prettydistress.com, and you can find my YouTube channel and my Instagram and TikTok and everything through there. It's all there. It's all there. Oh, thanks so much for coming. I so appreciate thanks it. Thanks so much for having me. Happy flipping, guys. Happy flipping. <laughs>